Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to episode 15 of AFC Gregs. And today it is the mid season review, and quite frankly, one of these is kind of how I'd describe how we've done so far, but you'll find out that in just a minute. We might be bottling the league. Um, roll the intro. So, yeah, here is what has happened so far. And as you can see here, this is the games that we did last time. Hyde and Basford. Uh, we won them both 3-0. Very happy. The team looked very good. We looked like we'd finally hit form. Uh, and then we beat Marine 6-2 off camera. Um, and I was like, oh, you know what? This is going quite well. 2-0 against Ashton. And then a weird 2-2 against Staleybridge, which has turned into a bit of a turning point in our season so far. And not a very good one. We were 2-0 up, and we threw a 2-2, and also they had a guy sent off, and we still couldn't win the game. We then drew 0-0 with Bradford Park Avenue, couldn't score a goal. We then drew 1-1 with Farsley, couldn't score a goal, lucky to get the one that we did. And then January's kicked off, and you might have just seen a hint of what happened then. But, um, yeah... Been a bit of a bottle lads if i'm totally honest you'll see in the top of the screen actually second in the northern national league and that is because our january well since the stadium bridge game we've actually been really really poor as well we've not been playing well at all fixtures have been really congested but they have for everyone really so i can't really complain about that we had a couple of rescheduled fixtures for internationals and one waterlogged pitch. So this Gainsborough game that we just played was waterlogged pitch and it was supposed to be played after this Ashton game when we were on hella form. So, you know, it's not been great. It's not been great. Uh, so we lost 2-3-1 to, to Matlock um, and they Matlock were much the better team. We lost 3-1 to Farsley and we just couldn't score and then Farsley scored more. And then 1-0 uh, to Gainsborough with a little cheeky win against Athington Collieries, where we were actually all right. And then we conceded just before half time. And then the second half, we just did nothing. No highlights at all. Ticked all the way through. Yeah. So um, let's take a look at the league. And as you can see, we are now second in the league by a whole point. And everyone's played 28 games as well. And it's it's been very frustrating. So this is our mid-season review. It's actually slightly further on than mid-season. I wanted to go through most of January because that's the slowest part of the season. And I wanted to get a certain couple of things out of the way. One of the things I've just flicked onto then is Owen James looks like he is out the door. Our 16-year-old Welsh central defensive midfielder. It says centre-back there. He's not. He's a central defensive midfielder. Really integral to us. 28 games he's played for us so far this season. And he's going for, I think, 11,000. There's loads of teams in for him. Um, let's have a look at how many teams are in for him. Um, so I managed to get a really good deal off of Stoke. Uh, and they accepted. Um, which was 40% of the next sale. 11k up front. And then rounding up to 13k. Amazing. Um, amazing. I was very happy with that. And then our board just accepted everyone else's 11 k a week bids and none of these have incentive to buy none of them uh, they've got percentage of profit like 15 percent. i think that's literally it so our board are screwing us out of lots of money we are doing decently on um finances i think our projection's pretty good if we look at the projection um okay maybe it's not we're gonna use it all by the end of the season so um yeah maybe i spoke too soon a little bit on that one considering we're gonna be 600k in debt in two years time whatever whatever it's, it's the least of our worries right now what needs to happen is we need to turn the games around and so Morpeth are now above us and as you can see with our schedule the next game but one is indeed Morpeth so I do bring you good games first we're going to play South Shields who are fifth already a really difficult game then we play Morpeth and then a couple more games which are a little bit easier after that and I'll probably bring you in probably around youth intake time early April late March but hopefully we can regain some form in this episode because we really need it right so let's get into this first game then uh, against South Shields who are fifth in the table and bearing down on us really five points behind they were way more uh, 15 goals for the season we do still have the best goal difference so maybe we should be winning the league who knows 
let's try and regain some form, especially especially now that January is about to end. Sometimes I have a bad January. Historically, in all of my saves across my life, January is usually a bad month for me. Probably because people come in for my players and upset them. But, you know, I'm not going to make excuses. We've done badly. It's my fault. Now we need to recover it. Come on, Gregs. Let's play some proper games. So this is going to be the team for today. I think Maguire and Ian San start up front as usual. Jackson on the left, Bulkley on the right, who did have his first offer during the week. And I think it's been accepted as well. It has indeed forcibly accepted at 5.25k. Bale and Reed in the middle, and I may bring in Becker instead of Reed. Yeah, I'm going to bring in Becker instead of Reed. What is left back? Ngobra Kitsa and Malokwu at centre back, as always, with Langley in goal and Claxton at right back. That back five just doesn't seem to change, so I'll be really gutted if I lose innocent Ngobra Kitsa because he's been an absolute stalwart for us so far this season. Right. Let's get into the game against South Shield then, shall we? Right, the teams are out at the bakery in this very important game. Second, I was about to say first versus fifth, then it's second versus fifth. Nothing happened so far, but here's the first highlight. Claxton into a Yinsan. Really poor pass from Claxton then, but it's going to be tidied up at the back by one of our two big boys. Ngomara Kitsa to Malokwu. Bale picks it back up to Ngomara Kitsa. A little bit too much passing around the back for my liking here. But maybe Langley can go over the top. He does try. Flicked on really nicely by Maguire. Bulkley is in. Oh, he held the ball up and the failed tackle there. Oh, the, 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 shit. not a foul. No. Ref. Referee. Good header on. Bulkley's up again. A Yin San. Can he pass the ball through? He does so. And Becker. Yes. It was a good decision. It was a good decision to include Mbeka in the team today get in there there we go and becker gets his goal and levels him with reed who they've kind of been swapping in and out so that's good that uh, he's been able to charge forward and get that love that from him good running behind a yin san with the assist as per normal it's a good job we did score that because hyde have scored to make it 2-0 so they were briefly top but more pith are not yet winning which means we are back top for now 38 minutes played throw in for south shields well tackled by and Becker and Langley has the ball at his feet. Goes long again. Again up in the air. But this time Bunny. Bunny. Bunny on the left hand side for South Shields. Gets past everyone. Rolls the ball across the face of goal. Poor effort really. You know maybe it's because your name is Bunny. Half time and it's 1-0 to Greggs. Nothing much has really happened. We've had the one highlight for the goal and then one highlight where Bunny just kicked the ball wide. That's literally all that's happened. Boring game. I'll take it if we win it, though. So things are going well, but capable of even better. Go. 65 minutes in is the third highlight of the game. Here's Bulkley. What can he do from this throwing? Cuts inside and runs in towards the center circle. Goes for the dink over the top towards the Yinsan. The Yinsan wasn't even thinking of doing that. And now South Shields can come away with the ball. Here's uh, Ngessen. Out wide to Carvalho into the penalty area. Oh, for God's sake. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> penalties ah Cassidy steps up Cassidy scores what is the point Waters just loves giving away penalties doesn't he guys doesn't he uh, he's great at the other end you know scoring free kicks he gets assists but no can't defend in his own box can he typical throw in again 71 minutes on the clock here's Ross mm, big tackle by Mbeka but he's got away with it a little bit that is a good tackle by Maguire, though. And now we come away with the ball. And Becker dinks the ball over the top towards Jackson. Jackson on the left-hand side. Can he get into the penalty area? Can. Slide tackle comes in. No penalty given. Maguire still has the ball. Beautiful ball through to Bulkley. What a save. And it's offside. I thought it might be. Throw in right by his own corner flag is Bunny. Throws it along to Sharif. Back to Bunny. Scorer. Hopefully he doesn't score. That would be ironic, wouldn't it? Cassidy. Goes forward, shoots from range. Unbelievable effort. And that's going to be a goal kick. Jeez. Let's encourage the entire team. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring on Burton because Maguire's had a terrible game. Nasri's going to come on for Bulkley because potentially I'm going to need to train Bulkley's replacement here, which uh, is probably going to be Nasri since he, I don't know, he's, yeah, since he's a left footed player, we can bring him in from that side. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to bring on Reed as well for Bale because uh, Bale is booked. So triple substitution with 15 minutes to go. 10 minutes to go. Come on, boys. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. 
Let's fire fire the lads up. We'll demand more. Let's demand more. Give me a chance. Corner. Whipped in Jackson. Onto the head of Malakwu. And there it is. Malakwu's second goal of the season. Thank goodness he saved us. And we've scraped through this game by the looks of it. For now, touch wood. We scraped two, through with a 2-1 victory. Hopefully. Tick, tick through. Just tick through. All the way through. Come on. No, 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 no. Flicked on. Headed away by Malakwu. Oh, no. Yin San's not even bothered going for it. Here's Nicholas Nicholson and Gessen. Nicholson again. Cleared away. That's not going to be good enough. Hannigan keeps the ball in play. Dings the ball forward to Ngessen. Up in the air. Headed down. Away by Nazri. Yin San just run. Just boot the ball, lad. Thank you. Burton. He's through. Can he get a shot away? He takes the ball onto his back foot. Penalty, surely. He's gone through the back of him. That's more of a penalty than I've ever seen in this league. Oh, my God, ref. Waters picks the ball up, nervously, cleared away, there's only a couple of minutes left, here's Sharif, cleared away by Claxton more confidently, but only as far as Nicholson, back inside to Ross, this is a long highlight, no, and Gessen, into the penalty area, shoots, oh, I thought it was in, thank God, oh, jeez, this is tense now, and we are not playing, well. continuously not playing well, I don't know what it is about January, the highlight still goes on, which I'm not overly happy about, just waste time, Langley. Waste time, waste time, waste time, waste time. Langley clears. Over the halfway line. Beautiful ball to Mbeka. Just shoot, just shoot, just shoot. Get the highlight over with. Shoot. No. Yes, it's over. Thank goodness. My heart can rest. That was a tough game for Greggs. We made it look much tougher than it needed to be really there. Um, I'm going to say it was a bit of a let off, to be honest, because it was. It motivated us, which is good. But it did look like a let off for that game. We are praying for this youth intake already and we've not even left January yet. So that result does mean we are back to the top of the league because I think Morpeth drew nil-nil, did they? I can't even see them. I thought they were playing today. They're clearly not playing today, but I thought they were uh, playing. So Morpeth haven't won, so they will go back to the top of the table by a point if they win their game in hand, which looks like it's against Matlock or Colnor Afford and Collieries. So could be a tough game if it's Matlock. If it's not, then less tough. Ah, well. Preston have signed Tyler Bulkley. Does he immediately go now or is he still with us for a bit? No, he's gone already to Preston. That is tragic because he was beginning to come become a really important player for us. I'm actually really gutted. That means that Nasri has to come in. Uh, Donny Longa Longa and, and Gomer Keats are having offers now. I'm not sure how many more I can save. Hopefully... Because it's the 31st of January, no one's going to sign in Comrade Kitsa, but uh, Bulkley has gone disaster for us, especially right before this next game, which is against Top of the League. And here it is. Nasri has a 5k bid on him, and Ngomara Kitsa has an 11k, and there's nothing I can do about it except for take the 15% of the profit from the next sale and sit here and look really gutted about it. We don't have any time to sign any players left in this transfer window. And they're all leaving on the last day of the month. This could be terrible for us. This really could be terrible for our season. Obviously trying to get more than 11k. So he's gone for Fulham. Which is... Is that one that I gave them a much more interesting deal? So yes, actually, that is one that I gave a much better deal to. So they've actually bid 11k approximately. But percentage of next sale, 50%. That is a good deal from me there. I've done a good job. I'm annoyed that he's gone. I really am. But if we're going to get a deal for him, we want to go for someone who's going to give us that kind of money for the next sale. So unfortunately, I'm going to tell him he's welcome back any time. But um, Innocent Nagomarakitsa has been sold. And I'm gutted because I'd only just learned how to pronounce his name. And I'm sure you in the comments as well. But um, big boy Innocent, he's gone to Fulham. We need to beat Morpeth today to establish ourselves back again as a team that can win this league. And we are without two of our starting, three of our starting lineup from the last game. We've lost Ngomara Kitsa, uh, we've lost Bulkley, and we've lost, have we lost Nasri as well? I don't even remember seeing a message for that. He signed for Huddersfield. He signed for Huddersfield for five game, uh, 5k. Uh, percentage of profit from next L15. Rubbish. Rubbish deal. Rubbish deal. You're really screwing me here, board. Isaac Ward is the player that we are going to replace Ngomara Keitsa with. Lice is waiting in the wings, but he is right-footed and we need a left-footed centre-back for the left side. They don't look... 
partner great with Malokwu, but that is what we have to put up with from now on. We are away from home in this game. Early highlight though for Morpeth by the looks of it. Free kick dinked forward in search of ball. It's the wrong side of Malokwu and we're 1-0 down in 58 seconds in the most important game of the season. Ah, <sighs> I'm just going to go back to drinking tea, to be honest. It's a mug of tea, it even says it on the mug. It's definitely not vodka. I wish I, I wish it was vodka right now. I really do. Isaac Ward with the free kick then. He plays the ball into Waters. Waters on the halfway line to Mbeka. Back to Malokwu. Dinked forward in search of the inside. Really good flick on to Maguire. Can he control the ball? He can, but he puts it wide. Why didn't you use your other foot? Ah... Claxton into Yinsam, back into Claxton, good ball into Jackson at the back post, he should score, he should score, he should score, but he doesn't. McGowan goes down the wing, can he keep the ball? That looked like a horrendous tackle, I thought that was going to be a red card, it isn't. Bailey comes away with the ball and then goes all the way back to Lawson in goal, I imagine a big kick over the top, yes indeedy. One well by Mbeka, here's McGowan, back to Malokwu. Inside to Bale. Bale collects the ball really nicely in the midfield and plays it into Maguire. Good football here from Greggs. It's not bad. A Yinsan getting involved. Beautiful one, two, three, four. Here is Maguire. Please score. God damn it. Ah, it's definitely not vodka. Crossed in. Malokwu's there. He's wide. It's wide. It's wide. Heading in towards the half-time area, and we've got one more highlight before then. Malokwu heads away. A Yinsan controls the ball really nicely, lays it off to Maguire. Come, Maguire. Into Jackson. Can he get past his man? He does really well. He shoots. It's over the bar, and so many times he does that as an inside forward. I want to tell him to shoot less, but he's actually scored quite a few goals. Oh, we've got a free kick right on the edge of the box here, I think. Come on, Waters. You can score these. You score these all the time. Whips it in. Oh, it's off the bar. It's off the bar. It's off the bar. Half time. We hit the bar right on half time. And as you can see by the XG, we do not deserve to be losing this game. Look at this graph. Look at this graph. We should be winning. We've had way more chances than they have. Six shots to their four. We've hit the woodwork. We've had a slightly more amount of possession. And I need to get a reaction out of my players. So I'm going to say... I'm going to point the finger... And I'm going to say, look, you know as well as I do that that first half wasn't good. Show me what you're all about in the second half. And everybody ignored me. Okay. Sometimes I don't get chance on this game. Um, let's take a look at the ratings then. We've got 6.5 for McGowan. That's not great. We've got Matty Waters on a 6.5 as well. We've got Isaac Ward, the replacement for Innocent Nagomrakitsa, on a 6.4. The lowest in the team. Kind of suspected a little bit, to be honest. Um, so we're going to be on King's Harness for McGowan because McGowan's not playing very well and perhaps King's Harness can do something. King Harness, not King's Harness. It's Harms anyway. It's King Harms. King Harms. Callum King Harms. Callum. Let's just call him Callum. It's Callum. Uh, he's coming on at the right-sided wing, the man on loan, and we're okay with Dan McGuire for the moment, but we may sub him off for Burton. 55 minutes played and it's still 1-0 to Morpeth. We potentially have something... No, it's a throw into Morpeth in our half. Hobson into the penalty area. Really good pass. That's got to be a goal. It is indeed. And... Uh, say nothing, chat. Say nothing. Just... Yeah, just... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to win the league anyway. I wanted to do the playoffs again because... I love playoffs. Playoffs are fun. If any people wouldn't nick our damn players... Morpeth go top of the league with a game in hand and um, we're going to have to make some wholesale changes for the last 15 minutes I think. Burton's going to have to come on and I'm going to potentially take off Brad Jackson as well and maybe go three up front here. This is it. This is what I want to see. It's a tactic. It's a definitely a tactic. We're going for it. That's all we can do. 2-0 down. Let's go. Basically it looks like I've hit the no more highlights button which I love. That's my favourite button when I'm in a pinch. When I'm making loads of tactical changes. We do have a highlight on the 87th minute. Claxon throws it in. Cleared away by Malokwi but it's really poor. Ball up over the top. Ferreira's going to get there. Langley has caught it though. Chance for the chance to carry on? Offside. Oh okay so no chance. Bit late now to do anything and Isaac Ward has just pulled off a terrible clearance but Beautiful ball over from Malokwu. Dinked over the top to Burton. Burton bearing down on the goalkeeper. Can he finish? He... Oh, it's just saved wide. 
and it's not going to be enough. And Greg's have lost the lead at the top. Bottle episode. What do I say, really, guys? What do I say? What do I say? What do I say apart from that's going to be the end of this video? No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I have to show the league and things like that. We're back. We're back. Hyde. Hyde have gone top of the league. They won one nil against Marine. More Pith have overtaken us as well, and we are now third place in the league. The only positive I have, really, is that last season our youth intake was unbelievable because of the facilities that Greg's have granted us, the company Greg's, as they took over the club. Very generous of them. They built for the future, they didn't build for the now. So they're not giving us loads of money, but they have built good facilities. So that means that we should get a good youth intake at the end of the season again and last year it pretty much saved us it pretty much took us into the playoffs we weren't we weren't pushing for the title last season we ended up losing it on the last day of the season we were kind of pushing for about fifth place this year i think we can still do it so if we can get a good youth intake in the next episode which is when i'll bring you back in i think i think I'll, that's the first thing i'll show you next episode will be our youth intake and where we are in the league because we may be 10th but, you know, Mr. Bottle James Richardson yet again. That's going to be a theme, isn't it? Greg's. I'm going to have to buy Greg's water bottles rather than this M&S food one. That's going to be the end of this episode anyway. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We've lost half of our players. We've lost the league. We bottled everything. And it's not been a good episode. But, um... Hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, leave a like. Um, please leave a like. And also subscribe. Check out my links in the description. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Discord. All of that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. See you later, and remember, be kind to one another. See you later.